This week on the Rutgers Basketball Story, the Scarlet Knights battle some of the best teams in the conference and the nation. We've got the highlights. Speaking of the Big Ten, it is a conference renowned for its competitiveness, which is one of the primary draws for many young student athletes. Being in the Big Ten, everybody's just athletic, huge. I love playing in the Big Ten, it's competition. But as we'll hear from the Scarlet Knights, that's not the only thing that makes this conference appealing and great. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, the, the rush in the court afterwards is just, we have some of the best fans in the country. Also coming up, the players talk about their teammates and why harmony really matters when you're building something to last. A pleasure to coach them and to be around them. Then number three shows us how to lead all Big Ten freshmen in scoring and how to do it with style. Kalia Copper lets us in on the secret to her success. But I think the mental part is what's, what's most important because um, I think mental toughness has, it plays a huge part in life in general. And our Hall of Fame coach, C. Vivian Stringer, has developed her into the player and the woman she is today. I believe in her like, like no one else. All that and more is just ahead on our basketball story. Let's go. Come on, gotta get better. We gotta get better. If you prepare yourself now, when the time comes for you to perform, you will be ready. The Rutgers Basketball Story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. The Rutgers Basketball Story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Greg Lewis? Greg Lewis is the best. It's been a, it's been a pleasure to coach him and to be around him. Greg Lewis is a great teammate. He's one of the greatest kids I've ever coached in my entire life. He's our leader, but off the court, he's very quiet. You know, like he's to himself. But no, nobody knows this. Greg's one of the funniest people I've ever met. Greg is pretty much the same on the court and off the court. Uh, very quiet, but uh, very fun to talk to. Uh, and gives great advice. He's been here for a while, so you know, if I need help, I can ask him. Um, so he gives us stability, he gives us experience, um, he gives us, if we were in the NBA, it would professionalism um, because he's so coachable and he tries to do everything you ask of him. So he's one of the best kids I've ever coached in my life. We welcome you.
venue inside the rack in Piscataway, New Jersey. Today, Big Ten basketball. Thanks for joining us. Women's basketball on BTN. Part of our binge on BTN. The Scarlet Knights, winners of five straight, looking to go 2-0 and in the conference. Rutgers pulled off the upset against then number four, Wisconsin. Rutgers on top of Ohio State. Well, they're playing with a lot of passion. It looks like they're the team that you're supposed to come out and beat. Big Ten. Big, strong. Being in the Big Ten, everybody's just athletic, huge. I love playing in the Big Ten. It's competition. Once you see how our fans can get, especially when we're playing big teams, like, it's, it's amazing. Everybody's jumping up and down. It's so loud, you can barely hear the whistles blow. And we're just jumping up and down, just ready, like, yo, we know we're going to pull this out. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, the, the rush in the court afterwards is just, we have some of the best fans in the country. When, when we have a really motivated crowd, it motivates our team, no, no doubt about it. It gives you that, that sixth player on the floor. You're into it, you want to raise your game. You can't help but raise your game to another level. And we've seen it last year, and, and most Big Ten games are, are that way. And we have to do our part. We've got to make sure that we get them riled up, and then, then they'll help us. Great. It's tough on, on one side, but it, it's been great, you know, going to Indiana and Michigan and these different schools that guys on the East Coast really don't get a chance to see. The crowds are great when you go on the road in the Big Ten. Um, our crowds have been good for the Big Ten games here at home. Corey Sanders, one of his four first half threes, 17 points for the Big Ten's top scoring freshman. I want to be Big Ten player of the year. I picked Rutgers because I wanted to go to a Final Four championship and win. So coming here, I knew that dream would be accomplished. You know, we can play in the Big Ten. It's here now. So in effect, I feel like my biggest dream has come to fruition. Look out, Big Ten. When Rutgers comes calling, they are loaded with talent. Right. I'll tell you, this kid really does a lot for Rutgers, not only in scoring, but also he's a lead assist guy among freshmen in this conference, making gigantic contributions in his first year. Rutgers lost one of the best guards in the last 10 years in Miles Mack. Corey Sanders has taken over for him big time. He's also very, very athletic at 6'2", and uh, has a nice flair for the game. Nine to shoot. Sanders with five. Finger roll, rolling around and good. Sanders off the pass, knocks down the three. Here's Sanders for three from the wing. Good sign early for Rutgers. The same way he is on the court, off the court, spontaneous. He's crazy. Real, real energetic. It's fun to be around, always joking. Uh, he has this, this way about him where it's, it's always uplifting. Like, you know, it's, like, you can't be, have a down moment around him. Oh, get my CD, man. OK, cool. <laughs> We're glad to have him. And, and he's one of those players that can take you to the next level. He's like he's everything people say say he is. Uh, he's an incredible player. Um, we, uh, since he stepped on the on the campus, he let it be known like he was he was gonna be like our point guard. With much more authority than that, Sanders off the crossover and the three. Oh, the 
freshmen having fun tonight in Columbus. He Corey Sanders, this is the video game version of the Corey Sanders show. He's been spectacular. Giddens there on the block against four minutes. Dead Sanders open. Look for three. Knocks down his third three tonight. Sanders looking for the ball, now trying to take it. Pulls back for the jumper, and there's the first bucket for Corey Sanders tonight. He's a very exciting player, and he gives them hope every time he steps on the court. He's going to the hole. Speaking of going to the hole, Corey Sanders, real bright spot for the future of Rutgers basketball to play, not only this year, but moving forward, Corey Sanders. Corey Gerard Sanders Jr. I am number three. Bishop, uh, that's my man. Uh, Bishop, you know, great player. Uh, and he's great off the court too. You know, it's fun to be around. You know, you can joke with him. See him on the court, and he's raring to go. I mean, he just he lights up like when he gets on the floor. Bishop Daniels, very respectful. I know his mom and dad, they, they, they make sure that he is a respectful young man, and he is. He's gone through some ups and downs, and he still remains respectful, hardworking. First guy here, last guy to leave. Oh, that's, like my, that's my big brother right there, you know. I'm the little brother, he's the big brother. You know, we always fight with each other off the court, you know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like my big brother at home. On the floor, um, he gives us great athleticism. He's um, learning how to be an organizer for us and a leader, and certainly he is a leader. Sometimes he's quiet leading, sometimes he's vocal leading, but he leads by example for sure. Rutgers takes the lead. Why do we huddle? It's not about me. It's about helping my team. Rutgers on three, one, two, three. Rutgers. Leave everything outside, leave your personal things outside. This is what it's all about. Yeah. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Here we go, come on y'all, we going right now. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. Kaz, she's a, a great leader. I really feel like sometimes she put us on her back. is an athletic machine. Kalia is like a breath of fresh air, especially on the court. Kalia Copper, so fun to watch, so athletic, just absolutely glides on that jump shot. A pull up, Copper is so smooth on that jumper. My name is Kalia Copper, I'm number two. Uh, I always played, like when I was younger, I played as young as kindergarten, but I didn't really take it serious until about eighth grade. I just thought about it as just a game that I love to play, and I just continued to play, and it just actually took me to higher levels. The furthest I was looking was DePaul and Chicago, but uh, I think I wanted to be close to home, and Coach Stringer was a Hall of Fame coach, and I just wanted to be here. She's helped me grow a lot, more than basketball. But she's just pushed me to my limits. She's challenged me mentally and physically. It's, it's almost like a mind game. Um, she, she's, she's challenging you, and you just have to be able to out, outsmart different things and be able to help different people on the floor in different positions. Copper rises and buries it, and her mid-range game, as well as her outside shot, has only improved this year. She's very smart, on and off the court. But I think the mental part is what's, what's most important because um, I think mental toughness has, it plays a huge part in life in general, but whether it's on the basketball court or in the workplace. She do what she got to do to win. I like that about her. Kyle's been here for me since my first um, unofficial that I came to, and 
our connection on the court and off the court is just through the roof. How she's worked on her game, expanding her game over the years is, is great. And I just, I'm just um, proud of her, all her accomplishments. She can hit the, the three-point shot. She can take the baseline. If you give her half of a foot, she's gone. She can do what she needs to do. I guess I, I believe in her like, like no one else. Nebraska. Welcome to Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska, early in the first quarter between Rutgers and Nebraska. This week, the RU women wrapped up their first multi-game road trip of 2016. First stop, Lincoln, Nebraska, against a Cornhuskers team that was coming in off back-to-back -back victories over Illinois and Penn State. The Scarlet Knights roared out to a 6-0 lead on the road and their rugged defense was omnipresent, holding Nebraska scoreless until the 5.51 mark of the first quarter. Senior Ariel Butts got off to an outstanding start and finished with a double-double, 10 points, and a career-high 14 rebounds. Rachel Holloway ignited a run to give Rutgers a 43-39 lead with one minute left in the third quarter. She was one of four players in double figures. Brianna Canty scored four straight points before halftime to help Rutgers take a 24-22 lead into the locker room. Rutgers has its head coach back. C. Vivian Stringer set to guide the Scarlet Knights on a Tuesday night showdown at the Breslin Center. The women were tested again three days later in East Lansing when they faced the high-scoring Michigan State Spartans at the Breslin Center. What the Spartans didn't expect was a Rutgers team that exploded in the first half with 13 unanswered points. Tyler Scaife did her part to keep the game close. She scored 24 points, her ninth 20-point game of the season. <laughs> a little rainbow, too, for Tyler Scaife. But Michigan State was too much down the stretch, finishing the game on a 12-2 run. So despite another hard-fought effort, the road proved to be unkind to the Scarlet Knights. Worst candy. Least favorite candy. That's an easy one. Twizzlers licorice is disgusting. The black ones. I don't like Reese's. Uh, twisted Twizzlers. What's it called? Tw oh, nasty. I don't like it. Twiz Twizzlers. Called. Tootsie Rolls. I don't like chocolate, and those are just like the nastiest, chewy chocolate candy available. <laughs> <laughs> Nestle Crunch. Jolly Ranchers. I know, they're too hard to chew. <laughs> I know, but yeah, I don't like them. You're not supposed to chew on a Jolly Rancher. Oh, you're not? <laughs> <laughs> I legit, like, bite into it every time that I get one. I'm like, I just can't with this candy anymore. I just can't. <laughs> Almond Joy. Candy corn is awful. Like, it's terrible. I don't understand how people like it. I don't understand why people eat it. If you guys like candy corn, I apologize to you guys, but candy corn is just terrible. Especially for like one of the most popular like uh, holidays of the season. I mean, of, of, uh, I mean, in the year, Halloween. I mean, there's so much great candy out there. And for candy corn to even be created, I just don't agree with it. <laughs> thought for a long time that Rutgers was a sleeping giant.
Rodgers takes the lead. Why do we huddle? It's not about me. It's about helping my team. Run the middle three, one, two, three, Rodgers. Leave everything outside. Leave your personal things outside. This is what it's all about. Yeah. No one said this would be easy. Eddie Jordan's ball club must prepare for a difficult road trip to Michigan, where they'll face the Spartans and Wolverines to close out the month. And keep an eye on Jonathan Laurent, a freshman with a bright future, whose return from injury should provide a spark for the Scarlet Knights. And at the rack, the women will look to continue their home winning streak in a rematch against Ohio State. Tickets are available at scarletknights.com or by calling 1-866-445-GO-RU. Get better every day and make no mistake, Rutgers University is the home of New Jersey basketball. I'm Bruce Beck. See you next time on the Rutgers Basketball Story. was a sleeping giant. Founded before America's revolution. Birthplace of college football. Transforming the arts, humanities, teaching, thinking, research. It's where we are, where we've been, where we're headed, always forward. Rutgers. Revolutionary for 250 years.